I want to show you the um, version 8 of the Tesla. So right now I have the Model 3 long range dual motor. I didn't update to version 9 yet so I can show you guys what version 8 has and then we will go to version 9 in a later video. Click on the car, you get quick control. You can either have uh, exterior lights. So I set it as auto and here you have front fog. This is for uh, turning on your fog light. Actually, we can we can test it right now. Unable to drive. Jack, okay. <laughs> That's a good point that I always worry about. Uh, I press on the brake and it's telling me to unable to drive. Check charge port, which is a good thing. I was wondering if I accidentally drive off while charging. And it's telling me to put my card down at the middle console to start the car. Mirrors, this is to control your mirrors, uh, left and right. And you're using the left directional button to control it. And you have mirror auto tilt and mirror auto fold. So when you get out of the car, if it's auto lock or you press a button on your phone that to lock the car, the side mirror will fold in. The auto tilt, it's when you reverse, the side mirror will tilt down so you can see what's on the bottom of the car. And then when you go to drive mode, it will just go back to the original that you have set. Have steering wheels, this one to go up, down, and then in and out. Fold, I just fold the side mirrors manually. I'm gonna unfold it. This is helpful when you're going into a tight parking space and you don't want to have the mirror out. Windows locked to lock your window. Display brightness at 7% right now. That is bright, that is unbelievably bright. I'm gonna set it to auto. So it's gonna auto dim it for you depending on the lighting condition in the car. Let's go to lights, dome lights. So I can set it to on, so right now it's on or auto. Yep, when you open the door, the lights turns on so you can see. When you're charging, it tells you that 9 hours and 10 minutes until charge. Alright, so that's a good screensaver because when you're outside and you look thin and you, you kind of see that you're charging, I absolutely love it. Ambient lights, I actually don't know what that is. So locks, so they give you two key cards. This is a history of it. So at 5.57, right now at 6.13, I use the key card to, un to, to go in. His is my phone, I use my iPhone. And then her is her phone, October 13. Okay, so Windows lock. Child lock is when you're in the back, you can roll the window down all the way. And Windows lock is all windows are locked, all passenger windows are locked. Display. Uh, right now we have it in auto. Screen clean mode. When you click on this, the screen's gonna go black. So you can screen it. <laughs> I, I almost, I wanted to kill myself just five minutes ago because I dropped this camera, this camera on a tripod right now on a, um, uh, elbow rest fell into the glass. I knew okay, the camera is metal. This thing is glass Something has to break and I, I'm hoping the camera breaks But it doesn't matter because I checked the screen. It seems fine. I don't want to think about it too much for so right now I'm holding on. Uh, I'm kind of oh look it's night mode. Uh, it just switched to night mode So that's amazing. I'm glad you guys get to experience that and the sucks things is you have to press and hold for three seconds to get out I think that's unnecessary. Just click to exit driving you have chill or standard. Again, I only have this car for two days and as standard, it's unbelievable. I overtook every car on the road. Before I had a, a Subaru BRZ, it, it got flooded. Um, that's another video. It's a small light car. It's not fast car, 6.2 seconds, zero to 60, but that is enough to, to take on, to, to overtake people, most people on the road. This car, I, I'm so confident that I can take anybody because it's the instant acceleration steering mode comfort standard or sport uh you know i don't know the difference yet uh it's set to standard i heard that sport it just make things stiffer i'm gonna leave it as it is right now and standard or low so regenerative braking is when you only use the acceleration pedal to accelerate and then you let go of the acceleration to uh, enable regenerative braking traction control currently not on Oh, here you go. Creep used to help vehicles stuck in snow, sand, or mud. Slowly move when the brake pedal is released. It's autopilot. Speed limit warning to display it. Speed limit, relative or absolute. So offset by zero or any number you want. If you drive at 70, it can either be, it could, it could go up to like 75 and it's fine. You tell the autopilot that, that that is a fine speed to do. Absolute, so you cannot go past 50. That's the limit. Forward collision warning. Uh, I set it to medium. I didn't test this and and I will never test it. Lane departure warning. I'm gonna turn that on just to play with it. Automatic emergency braking. That's cool. That's cool to have. And again, I will not test this ever. God knows if I do get into an accident. I have never been into an accident, but if I do, that would help me because it's just uh, automatically brake. 
do the braking for me when it sense obstacle is ahead. Safety and security. Parking brake. Brake is on. You can also select the gear on the steering column. There's a lever here when you press in, you turn on brake. Basically, it's uh, down is to drive, up is to reverse, press in to brake, which is very van-like driving. But it leaves the, the middle console free of obstacles. So I like that. Speed limit, I set to 80 because I tend to go over 80 and especially in this car, power off. Are you sure you want to turn the power off? Place foot on brake and turn to turn power back on. I don't want to do this. You just power off the screen. Service, wiper service mode. Adjust headlight. Uh, what is that? Ah! Okay, so sorry. Headlight leveling is in progress. Oh, look, it's okay. So it, the headlight in the front is lit up. Use the left steering wheel control to adjust your light. Towing. Uh -huh. I don't want to click that. Owner manual. Oh, that's a cool thing about this car. Uh, it has a manual right here. So opening and closing doors. Let's see, they, they better have pictures. Oh, they do have pictures. That's awesome. Oh, animated picture. GIF or if you're classy, GIF. Glove box. This is just going to open a glove box. And the glove box can be open only from this. There's no lever for the glove box. So if you're thinking if this glove box can lock, yes, it can lock if the car is not on if the intruder has access to the screen he can open the glove compartment this car is 60k so for that price i'm i was hoping that if i do click the glove box again it closes we're done with the car section let's move on to the music section the music section once you click it is it located down here just drag it up let me see if i just flick it and it's okay oh flicking is works too so you can drag or flick but this button right here this is a very uh, very cool button you, uh, you get to choose radio, streaming, tuning, phone, and USB. USB, they ha there's two USB down here. They come with USB-C and a lightning cable for the iPhone. You can unplug that, those cables and then you can plug in like a USB stick where you put your music and you can play from there. And the phone basically connects through Bluetooth to your phone. So if you were to play Amazon Music or any music, or any movie on your phone. The sound will comes out of this Tesla speaker. They make it so streamlined that it just works. But anyway, I just love that it, everything just works. You know, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, and, the, and the big screen helps a lot. Enough of that. Tune in. I don't know what that is. Oh, hey, I do know. Top pod podcast. That's so cool. By location, lo local radio, music. Oh, what's music? Holy crap. You get genre of stuff. Top 40 music. Oh, this is so cool. And it comes with LTE uh, right now. <laughs> Look at this. I believe I can fly. That's my um, SSID. Oh, also, this one is mine too. The promised land. <laughs> anyway, right now I'm, I'm connected to Wi-Fi. I'm going to turn off Wi-Fi so you can see something cool. LTE. It comes with one year of internet connection. After a year, it's $50 a year. Like, heck yeah. $50 a year, that's nothing. I love that they have this folder structure that you can play. Let's try something like Absolute Mix. It's spinning. Okay, it's playing. I'm just gonna use my left dial on my... Okay, yeah, left dial on my steering wheel to turn on the volume. Left and right direction to go uh, previous and back. Okay, so that's music. Oh, let's, let's see more. That's tuning uh, and then streaming. Today's hit. Wonderful. Girls like you, Maroon 5. It's awesome. It has everything you need here. I think it has everything you need. Radio, it has radio too. Cool things about radio is when you have the channel you like, press on this hot button right here to make it as favorite. That way you can you can find it again in presets at 88.5. Oh God, look at this. Look at this, you can put in 98.9 Magic FM tune. Let's see. Oh, it does, okay, 96.1, 96.1. Oh yes, it works. So th th those are the two channels we have here that I know of. I'm just gonna go back to streaming and just play another thing and then just pick something. Oh, they have comedy. Okay, here's a tip in life. If you're driving on a long road, you're sleepy, listen to a comedy. You cannot sleep when you're laughing. Okay, search for the songs, the album, the artist, the podcast station on the top one. Okay, you can um, thumb up or thumb down. And then, okay, this is cool. This is the equalizer. Basically, I move treble all the way down because I don't like treble. Uh, I'm probably gonna move bass all the way up. 
you know, I'm just gonna leave it at medium. I don't know the brand of the speakers, but it, it's quite good. The bass is clear and full of pump and actions. You don't get the distorted sound. A balance, you can choose uh, where, you can drag this circle and choose places when you want it to be. Right now, it's at the middle so that everybody benefits. And uh, options, immersive sound, I put it to high. That's music, and this is phone. You can dial phone number like 911 and then call. This is connected to your phone. So dialer, contacts. Actually, I think you can go to Bluetooth setting right now. I told it not to import contacts and recent calls. Let me turn it on so that you can see. So I turn it on and I have all my contacts here. And then recent, this is the recent phone call. You just click to call someone. Let me call someone real quick. Oh, it's calling. Okay, turn it off. Okay, so the next one is the, the seat. This is this is the passenger seat. You, when you click it, you see three red squirrely thing. That's super hot, medium hot, and then low hot, warm. Uh, let's call it warm because it's not hot. And then off. Same thing with the one over here. So here you have the temperature. You click on the temperature, it will turn on. You can hear the sound right now kicking in. Right now it's 72 degree. You can go up, 75. And then you see that this number changed too. You can uh, uncheck that so that the passenger side can have a different number. Right now, the passenger side has 75 and I have 78. So, and if you want both people to have the same settings, you just click on the, the button again. This button will work too. Click on sync temp. When, when it turns blue, they all have the same temperature. And this button here, manual, this is a power button to turn off AC and heat all together. You can uh, turn on AC, you can have it at auto. And then the fan speed, okay. Fan speed, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, up to 10. Now you can hear it's so loud. Ah! I set it to two. It's blowing enough, but it's not intrusive. So that I can enjoy my music. This is um, circulate the air inside. That would be so cool if you press and hold and it would tell you a tool tip or what it is. This one would be the air is going up to the mirror and then we want uh, the air going to your face, to your feet. You want air to go to the passenger side also. When you get fog, press this and this one is just to defrost the one in the back. So this one is actually heat. And But the front one, you can have cold air or the, um, the warm air going to the front. I think that's it. Okay, so this is volume. So this is the map. Uh, of uh, right now it's in night mode. This is powered by Google, which is cool, which is awesome. I like Google, I love Google. Open, ah crap. Okay, so I, I actually clicked the trunk to open. There's now you see the, the picture of the, the trunk, it gets open. So this one is the charger door. Right now it's charging, you, so the close button is, is grayed out. You forget that you close it and you just keep driving, and just close by itself. This mark shows that I'm charging. Time remaining is eight hours and 50 minutes. I have 230 miles. 37 miles it is set to charge to 90 percent this one it's for the rear wheel the rear mirror now you can't see anything because it's 6 40 p.m press it again to go back to the map view this one is to show your car charging eight hour and 50 minutes 237 miles three miles per hour i actually got four miles per hour last night you can set the limit right now it's set to here uh, daily set any level for your daily driving needs trip useful for road trip charging to this level will take longer all right so there's a button here say stop charging anyway uh, this is speaker the, this thing can be turned on from here or the right dial on the steering wheel what i've learned so far is you can play music you can dial you can call someone or you can get direction navigate to downtown denver it's taking a while oh it's not not bad okay so it show me downtown denver Oh, this is a good time to show you guys the map. Uh, you can cancel the trip and it tells you what to do, the next steps, you know, the next step, the next step, the next steps. But yes, you can cancel the trip. It tells you that uh, 60 miles to get there, one hour and three minutes, how long it takes, and the time, 7.48, you will get there. Play Maroon 5. So here, when you have this, it doesn't seem to work, so you have to get out um, to minimize the... Oh, it does work while the keyboard is on. All right, Maroon 5 works. Call her. Huff. Anyway, um, since as you can tell, I'm not 100% American. So basically Tesla's racist. Auto. Uh, oh, this is wipe. One, two, three, four. That, that's how fast it goes. Or I can choose auto. I'm gonna choose auto. So when it rains, it's just gonna wipe it for me. And right now, I'm at the center dot. So if I swipe this way, I get my trip information. It's just showing me trip A, trip B, 
and all this information that I, know, I never actually use this odometer I need that 107 miles when I picked up this car I had it has 12 miles on there when I caught them they say it has 3.5 miles it went up to 12 miles but we know they're probably driving it around and then another one this one to be honest with you I don't know what it is it's just a picture of a car let's talk a little bit more about the map okay this is one thing that I wanted to know if you were going around and, and messing around with a map how do you go back to the to where you are you click on the north sign north up and it gets you to the to the red arrow to show you where you are and this thing right here you can click navigate and you can put in downtown Denver uh, or anywhere you want to go this is the, the history of where I have been you can set home and work uh, so you can just say direction to home or direction to work there's a plus sign and a minus sign to go zoom in and zoom out there's this globe thing that you can see an aerial view you can have traffic turns on and then this button here is supercharger let me try that let me go to somewhere far navigate to Utah navigate and let's see finding supercharger for your trip is taking into account that I have 238 miles which is not enough to go to Utah so it's looking for ways to get me to Utah while places to charge so you can see here there's a supercharger here on the way and then another supercharger here you have a lock button but here you have the, the home green icon this is your home link this is awesome because you can tie your garage into your uh, Tesla let's try to add a new one actually I can show you what's going on home link setting okay, I'm gonna call it three and then enter have your garage door remote ready you might want to use new batteries park in front of your garage door be sure to leave enough room for it to open if you click start record signal from remote stand in front of the car and point your remote at the bumper press and hold the button until the headlight flash it might take up to 30 seconds here you have the Bluetooth section uh, you can add add new device forget this device or disconnect let's go to LTE this is uh, wireless this is data uh, you can turn your Wi-Fi off and you can turn it on you can add manually your wireless uh, connection or it will show up here the list that they found you can connect or forget network uh, the T is uh, basically about the car I have a Model 3 long range dual motor 107 miles my VIN number my version is 8.1 2018.32.7 80F9 CD5 you can access your owner manual here on the bottom left and then you can call Tesla roadside assistant there's an arrow button down here, right here and you can press it you can slide it down here you have the Easter eggs this one is to draw we got marker marker is a bigger guy and then pen smaller guy eraser uh, you can go with like number 12 right now which is the minimum you can go higher to make it bigger publish what are you publishing at are you sure you want Tesla to critique your artistic masterpiece the left hand side say no the world isn't ready for my art the right one say yes I am an artist oh. The reindeer is just a mode and here you have Mars. It will show you the rover on Mars, but it has no street views. Easy entry. I programmed my fiance and I settings for the, the seats, the side mirrors, the rear view mirror is not programmable. It should be able to, to, to do the steering wheel for you also. 